Remember OpenCode, the fastest AI CLI coding agent? Well, it has now been revamped to Crush CLI, a new coding agent that's even better for your terminal. Crush is a high-performance agentic coding tool built with the Charm libraries, and it's something that has a playful aesthetic that makes you really want to use this over other CLI tools. Crush CLI is by the original developer of OpenCode, who recently joined the Charm team, and it's fully based on Go, making it incredibly fast and responsive. This makes it currently the fastest reliable AI CLI coding agent. With Crush, it has an extensive set of tools, plugins, and adaptable workflows, while having the flexibility to wire any large language model of your choice. It's built for speed and performance, and you can see the TUI looks absolutely amazing in comparison to Cloud Code or many of the other CLI tools that we have showcased. You have the ability to select multi models where you can choose a wide range of different large language models or bring your own via OpenAI or Anthropics compatible APIs. It's flexible where you can switch between different models mid session. So if there's a particular model you would use for a certain generation, you can switch between that model with the base model that you have already running. It's session-based where you can maintain multiple work sessions and context per project. There's the ability to have it running simultaneously, which is awesome. It's LSP enhanced, which is where it gives Crush deep real-time code intelligence from your actual project files. Whereas something with like Cloud Code, it relies solely on just AI reasoning without direct LSP powered uh, context. But that's why this is something that was hyped with the open code project over the cloud code project because there is this LSP enhanced functionality which brings in additional context for your actual session. It's extensible with capabilities via MCPs as well as different tool sets and plugins and it works anywhere with different operating systems. Before we get started, I just want to mention that you should definitely go ahead and subscribe to the World of AI newsletter. I'm constantly posting different newsletters on a weekly basis. So this is where you can easily get up to date knowledge about what is happening in the AI space. So definitely go ahead and subscribe as this is completely for free. Now to install this, you can use different package managers and it works with NPM, Homebrew, or you have the ability to use Go. But since I'm on Windows, we're going to be using Scoop to install this. It's super simple. Go ahead and copy this command. Open up your command prompt, paste this in. This will start checking the repo and have Charm installed. And then now we just need to install the CLI by copying the Scoop install crush command, which will go ahead and install it. And now to start it up, it's super simple. Just use the crush command. But if you do not know how to install it, just simply go ahead and make sure you install it based off the operating system you have. But now that we have it installed, let's go ahead and select our model. You have so many different providers that you can use. You have the new OpenAI GPT-5 model, which is pretty good for coding. But say if you want a free model, you can actually use OpenRouter's free model list. This is where they offer a lot of different coding models, even the new uh, Coin3 coder, which is exceptional. So if you want, I highly recommend that you use that model, particularly for generation. You can select it by simply clicking enter, and then you can use it with Crush CLI. Next, after you have selected the model, you have the ability to initialize Crush CLI within a project so that it gets familiarized with the code base. This is where it can examine the project and then put the results into the crush MV file, which serves as general context. But since we don't actually have any sort of project that we want crushed CLI to be deployed in, we're gonna click on nope. And now we have the ability to essentially get started with crush CLI. If you click control P, you're gonna be able to get a comprehensive list of different commands that you can use from switching sessions, switching models, toggling YOLO mode, as well as a couple of other things, even like initializing a project. Now, let me just showcase the ability to toggle and switch between sessions. This is where you can switch between another subtask right directly within the original task that we have. So in this case, if you're building something, you can have one session focus on building a component like a front end and then the other working on the back end simultaneously. So I can say something like create me a note taking app with a lot of features and you can see how intuitive this actually looks. This is a lot better looking than many of the different CLI tools that I've showcased on the channel. Right away, you have the ability to approve commands that are 
being sent to you from the actual CLI. And you can allow this or allow it only for the session. We're going to go ahead and click on allow. And you can see that it's going to then work on building the new application and work on generating all the files live in action. And on the right hand side, you're going to be able to see the amount of tokens used as well as in this case, I'm actually not using the free open router API due to the rate limit. I'm using my own API key, but you can see right now that it is working on the index.html file and you're going to be able to view the diff edits directly within the terminal, which is pretty impressive. This is where I can allow it and I can have it work on coding out the rest of the files. And after it has finished generating the code for your app, in this case, it is wanting to run the command to start it up. So we can click on allow and we're going to be able to now visualize what it has now generated. And there we go. This is our advanced note taking app where you have the ability to write in any sort of note, make a YouTube video on crush CLI, and then I can click on save. And there we go. We have our note now as a personal note tagged on the left hand panel. Now, this is a super simple app that was created, but you have a lot of different functionalities like adding in a picture. So in this case, I can go ahead and add in this picture. And this is a simple note taking app that was fully coded out with the Quen3 model with the agents deployed from Crush CLI. Now, if you actually press control G, you have the ability to focus on a particular chat. You have the ability to even go into commands, sessions with the control S feature. You can manage through different sessions live in action. So in this case, this is one of the note taking apps that we can access directly, or we can switch into another chat, but you also have the ability to go back and add images. So if I press on control F, I can go ahead and attach an image so that the model can then use that as a design or use that as a wireframe to work on coding out next component or simply just adding it as reference in the same way you can add files as well. And then you can even open up the editor. If you press control zero, you can open up your code editor. I have it as a notepad right now, but in this case, you can open up VS code to edit any of the files that it has generated directly from the terminal to the IDE. Next up, I want to try something else. This is where I wanted to create a modern image editor app with the YOLO mode enabled, where it's going to be able to autonomously build out all the components of this application for me. So let's see what it actually ends up generating. And there we go. Just like that, we have our advanced image editor. You have the ability to upload various sorts of pictures. Let's say I want to upload this thumbnail for today's upload, Crush CLI. You have the ability to change the canvas size live in action. You also have it so that you can brush or erase certain sections. You can even draw certain components, change the color. And all of this was fully generated with the help of Quen Coder, which was really insane. And thanks to the different agents deployed by Crush CLI, it did a great job in generating this overall platform. If you like this video and would love to support the channel, you can consider donating to my channel through the super thanks option below, or you can consider joining our private discord where you can access multiple subscriptions to different AI tools for free on a monthly basis, plus daily AI news and exclusive content, plus a lot more. Overall, I personally find Crush to be super fast because it's written in Go and it gives exceptional speed and responsiveness, outpacing many of the other agents. Its session-based context management is definitely nice where it rivals up against the Claude sub-agent that they've just introduced. It's also something that has deep real-time intelligence with the LSP, which makes it appealing. And overall, if they are to keep continuously working on this and make it better, it's going to be a great option to use, maybe even your primary CLI agent that you would go to. But that's basically it, guys, for today's video on Crush CLI. This is something that I highly recommend that you take a look at with the links in the description below. Make sure you subscribe to the second channel, join the newsletter, join our Discord, follow me on Twitter. And lastly, make sure you guys subscribe, turn on the notification bell, like this video, and please take a look at our previous videos because there's a lot of content that you will truly benefit from. But with that thought, guys, have an amazing day, spread positivity, and I'll see you guys really shortly. Peace out, fellas.